In the 90s, wolves were reintroduced to Yellowstone Park. And when that happened, it changed the ecology of Yellowstone. So when the wolves came in, by the way, the wolves were all killed off because uh, wolves were a threat to the frontiersmen. So the government issued a bounty on wolves. And they said, look, we need to not let the wolves eat people. So you bring us a dead wolf and uh, we'll give you money. And so that happened. And what happened is the wolves were hunted almost to extinction. So when wolves were reintroduced in the 90s in a controlled population into Yellowstone, something happened in that park. That's really neat. First of all, the wolves kill off uh, different animals for prey that really wouldn't have had predators before. Coyotes, for example, uh, which is like a wolf, but smaller. <laughs> so the wolves will eat the coyotes, but when the coyotes were killed off, or managed rather by the wolves, their population is now smaller. So now mice and small animals and rabbits and, and uh, small weasels and things like that, the coyotes were eating are starting to thrive. And as they start to thrive, well, that brings in hawks and eagles and predatory birds that weren't there before. And uh, the wolves also hunt deer. And as they start managing the deer population, they start seeing reforestation happen because the deer will eat those young saplings as they're growing. And so as the wolves eat the deer, then trees are starting to grow back up again. And as the trees are starting to grow back up again, they are establishing root systems that is stopping erosion, that is reshaping the creeks uh, and the streams in, in the national park. They're not flowing the same way because they're not able to erode the bank that didn't have a tree because the tree is holding, it literally is changing the geography of Yellowstone Park by introducing wolves. I guess my point is we're meant to be a little bit wild. Civilization, that's good. I mean, it's good to be polite. It's good to live in communities and it's good to have some degree of culture. But part of us is wild. Part of us needs to reconnect with the forest, with the desert, with the wilderness. And I think that keeping that wildness, that fierceness alive, especially as it relates to manhood, I think it matters a lot. Don't be so civilized that you miss it.